welcome to my kitchen. I am Mickey B. Have we met? If not, it's nice to meet you. I'm glad you decided to join me today. Today, I will be making my banana nut bread. And these are the simple ingredients that I will be using. Okay, the recipe calls for a stick of butter, and that's about three quarters of a stick. I try to reduce where I can. Two eggs, about a cup or so of bananas, and then we have a cup of sugar, which I reduce it to a half cup. There's two cups of flour, one half teaspoon of salt. I use the pink Himalayan sea salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and then I like to add in my chopped up baker's bar, coconut, and walnut almond. I mean, and walnuts. And then from time to time, whenever I have a little leftover package of this maple brown sugar oatmeal, the little instant packets, I go ahead and throw that in there. It gives it a nice little sweetness, especially since I reduced the sugar here. Oh, and the last thing is a third of a cup of milk. I use almond milk. And then you're supposed to use a teaspoon of lemon juice. So let's go ahead and get these ingredients uh, mixed together and get these in the pan. Okay, the recipe actually calls for one third cup of buttermilk, but if you don't have buttermilk, then you can take a third a cup of milk, like I take this almond milk here, and then you add a teaspoon of lemon juice. And I just, I don't really measure this part. I just kind of give it a good squeeze. That's probably a lot more than a teaspoon, but that's fine. Um, then we're going to sit that to the side, and then we're going to let this sit here and curdle because we want it to simulate buttermilk. So we're going to put that there. Now we're going to go back to, see how it's starting to curdle? That's what we want. Sit that over here. Now let's go to the butter. We're going to add the sugar, half a cup of sugar, and the two eggs over right here. Going to whisk these together first, get them light, fluffy, and mixed together. So, I'm using my new whisk from the Dollar Tree, this Betty Crocker, which I don't know if it's going to be strong enough, but we're going to try it out and see. So, let me put this down and get to mix it, and I'll be back. To that, we're going to add our bananas. I keep these in the refrigerator so they get nice and sweet and brown. And I probably use way more than the recipe calls for, but I like a lot of bananas in my bread. And we're gonna go ahead. This is where I'm not sure how this whisk is gonna do because I don't think it's strong enough. But let's see. like a little lump in there, but not too much. So let's see if we can dash it down a little this way. You're supposed to add mashed uh, bananas, but I kind of, like I said, I like a little lump to mine. Not too smushed. I don't want to spill that. Oops. Oh, uh, there I did. I spilled it. All right. I'm making a mess here. I'm making a mess. Okay, that's good enough. I'm not gonna spill it again. Okay, so now <laughs> this is what it looks like. I thought I was recording a second ago and I wasn't. And I went ahead and poured the flour in there. So you can kind of see the texture over here. It's nice and lumpy, but it's not too much. It's got some texture in there the way that I like it. So I added in half of the flour, salt, and baking soda mixture. So we're gonna go ahead and get this mixed in here. and get it in the pan after we add all the fixings. Oops, okay, be careful there. Yeah, this whisk is not the best tool for this job here, but since I've started, I'm gonna try and make it happen. Now we're going to go ahead and add in a little of that one-third a cup of 
buttermilk. Make sure we make. I'll loosen it up a little bit for me. I wish I had my wire whisked over. It'd be so much better. We're going to add in the remaining. Swapped out with this. I think I can do better. All right, here we go. Now I'm not going to mix it too much because I don't want my bread to be tough. But I do want to make sure that it's mixed all the way through the bottom. Be a pretty good mix to me. So now, this is where I add all my little extras and the walnuts. cinnamon smell that's specific to this oatmeal. It's, it's very strong and it really goes well with this banana nut bread mixed with the chocolate and the nuts and the coconut. And the last thing I'm going to do is take this baker's bar and chop it up. If you got a good sharp knife like this, nice and big and thick, and it goes through this pretty easily. So I'm going to keep it a little chunky, but not too big. I normally use chocolate chips, but I wanted to use up these bars since I've had so many of them that I bought. I want to just keep letting them sit in my pantry. Okay, so now we've got it. That's about as big as I want them chopped up. Then you see the size of it. Try to make it as equivalent to I can to a chocolate chip. So we're going to take these and add them to the bowl. Now we're just going to fold these in and get these in the pans and get them in the oven. Finish folding these pieces of chocolate in. So we've got some even distribution going on in here. And then I'm going to put them in the pan and let them cook for 50 minutes, 45 to 50 minutes, depending on your oven. When a toothpick insert it comes out clean, that's how you know it's done. Doesn't that look good? Mmm. <laughs> Now we've got two pans that you can either use a cooking spray on or you can um, use butter. In this instance, I went ahead and used the butter, the wrappers from the butter because it was so, it's so hot, the butter was so soft, it was easy to just wipe it off. I mean, wipe it around the pan. So we're gonna divvy this up half and half. to make two is because they both are going to be cooked. When I first did this recipe and I only used this one pan, it was not done in the middle. It was very soggy. 
so I don't want that to happen again. So I started breaking this up into two loaves and it works out just great. So if you have a big uh, bread pan where one bread pan can accommodate all of this, then by all means use it, but it's going to take longer to cook, at least mine's did. And I think too it's because of the amount of bananas I like to use. I like to use a lot in mine and maybe that contributed to the fact that it took longer to cook because the bananas definitely add moisture and I think the coconut does as well. So we're going to spread these out in the pans and we're going to get these in the oven for 50 minutes like I said and have us some chocolate chip coconut maple brown sugar oatmeal banana nut bread. Is that enough for you or what? And this is great in the morning too with a cup of um, tea. I don't drink coffee, but if you drink coffee, I suppose coffee as well. Um, what else? Milk. If you drink milk, even water. It's plain by itself. You can keep it warm, room temperature, or cold. They're all See, I'm trying to get every last drop out of here. I don't want to waste any of this chocolate chip scraggling around. Let's get that in there. All right, so let's go ahead and get these in the oven. And call it a day or a night in 15 minutes. I mean, 50 minutes. All right, there you have it. I'm going to give them a little... Put them in the oven and we're going to set the timer there you go timer set to 50 minutes and i'm a clean cook so i've cleaned everything up dishes are washed so we can go relax watch a movie and wait till this comes out of the oven you have it folks fresh out of the oven piping hot I'm gonna let these babies sit here and cool for a little bit but let me give you a little close-up goodness mm, they're very hot so I'm gonna make sure I don't touch this uh, any of these pans and I can tell these are done I like mine cooked really well um, but I'll go ahead and get the cake tester just to confirm this is my little cake tester. I don't know where I got this, but I've had it for years, and it is just a little metal toothpick that you can stick it inside and pull it out clean. Number one, and number two. This house is clean, as that little lady says in the exorcist or poltergeist. All right, so there you go. It's too hot to slice it up and show you what it looks like on the inside. So when it cools down, I'll do that, serve it up on a little plate so you can see the deliciousness from the inside and out. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, friends. Give you a 360. Nice and crunchy on the top. Soft on the inside with all that delicious coconut and chocolate and walnuts and oatmeal. This is gonna be delicious. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.